Hello, best friend, and oh, welcome back to my channel. I hope, girl, did I wear this the other day? <gasps> Bitch, I am an alpha repeater. Lizzie McGuire, you are an alpha repeater. And the fuck I am, and what, bitch? Listen, girl, welcome back to my... Oh, it has been 16 seconds, and I'm already doing all this craziness. If this is your first time watching me, girl, listen, my name is Sebastian, and I'm your new messy best friend. Uh, hence the messy, okay, bitch, capital M, all right? We got to talk about Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian because allegedly Taylor Swift is done talking about Kim Kardashian and Kim Kardashian is confused. So we got to talk about this. But before we do, I want you guys to get settled in. Grab a snack and a drink, girl. Um, you know, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And just calm, you know, calm down, you know, uh, sit down, get that comfy pillow over your tummy and just chill, you know, because girl, that's what it's about, bitch. You got to chill. Um, unless you're at work and I'm, or, or you're in the bathroom while you're watching, you nasty. Take me out of the damn bathroom, okay? Anyways, girl, so listen, there's a new article and it's talking about Taylor and Kim and we got to talk about this. So, um, listen, obviously, you know, Taylor's, uh, the tortured poets department double album came out and it shook the damn world. Okay. It is said to have sold over 2 million copies. And of course there is the song, thank you, Amy, that a lot of people are associating it to be about Miss Kim Kardashian. So the majority of the people are like, that's right, bitch, that's right. But some people are saying, when will Taylor get over it? Well, your answer is about to be answered. Your answer is about to be answered? Girl, I don't know, bitch. Listen, I'm, I, all I know, honey, is that I'm looking forward to my dinner. Do you guys ever do that? Like when you're having, a, when you know you're gonna have a good dinner and you're looking forward for it? Ooh. I'm excited. Anyways, girl, listen, I'm gonna have homemade pizza tonight. That's right, that's right. Okay, take a look at the article, bitch. All right, best friend. So it says that Taylor Swift's Thank You, Amy is her final word for Kim Kardashian. Okay, girl. So it says here that Taylor has moved on and is not looking back. So, okay. All right, girl. All right, girl. That this song is her final word. Okay. So after Thank You, Amy, Taylor Swift says she is done with Kim Kardashian um, it says here that a source says that Kim Kardashian has long wanted to move on from the feud. <laughs> Duh, bitch. Um, the, really, the reality star doesn't get why Swift keeps harping on it. Uh, it's been literally years, a source told People on Tuesday. Well, that source can kiss Taylor Swift's ass. That's what I'm going to say about that, bitch, okay? Um, no, of course, Kim Kardashian wants Taylor Swift to move on, to move on girl, because obviously, you know, the Swifties are... Girl, they're a force to be reckoned with, bitch. And you don't want to cross them. You don't want to come from... Listen, next time you think you should come for Taylor Swift, <gasps> don't. So listen, best friend. Um, I feel... And I've always said this. Like, I've always said, honey, girl... Oh, it's going to rain. I've always said, listen... It, it, nobody should tell you when the fuck to move on from nothing, okay? I'm so sorry, but you have absolutely no right to tell me when my... And me and my feelings when I should move on. If I want to fucking harp on something, bitch, that is my journey to take, okay? And it is a one-seat journey, bitch. There is no room for you, all right? Um, you can take the next train, okay? You missed this one, bitch, all right? Um, listen, so, you know, there's a lot of people criticizing Taylor over the fact that she just continues to say stuff. Listen, I really do feel like she had to kind of seal it, you know? And I feel like she had to do... It, even if it is about Kim, because, you know, obviously there's no, you know, there's no confirmation, but I mean, the capital K-I-M, I mean, that does say something, girl. Um, but whether it's about Kim or not, you know, Taylor chose to do this and it is what it is. Kim could Kim could go on her reality show and, and talk about Taylor as well if she wanted to, you know, but, you know, people are different. Doesn't mean that one is right. Doesn't mean that one is wrong. Doesn't mean nothing, you know, in situations. In this situation, there's definitely someone who is right and there's definitely someone who is wrong. I'll let you be the judge of that one, girl. But, <clears throat> ooh, 
Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you just made me do. Anyways, girl, listen. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, so what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. I I I I, I do feel like, you know, um, I don't think Kim or the Kardashians are gonna reach out to Taylor. I feel like they I feel like they are gonna take the approach of, you know, just sort of um uh you know, the PR move basically is to do nothing, say nothing, and it will go away. And I definitely think that's that's the journey they're gonna take. I really do feel that because, you know, in Hollywood, you know, um, things do move rather quickly. So, you know, th this last week, we've been hyper-focused on this. Next week, Jennifer Lopez is gonna do something or Jojo Siwa is gonna wear another cringe outfit or, you know, Kylie Jenner pregnancy rumors, you know. There's always going to be a moving, it's always a moving street, you know what I mean? So, sort of like that thing in the airport. What is that thing called, you know, where you put the luggages and it just goes round and around and around like that. If I had to name it, I would name it like, like, um, uh, uh, luggage train luggage road luggage u-haul i don't know bitch anyways girl um so what do we think let me know in the comments below um i just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your love i've, I've been saying thank you in all my videos but i you know i just you know i don't know if you guys have watched my other videos but um you guys have just shown so much love in the uh video that i did meeting paris hilton and um, I got asked a question that uh, I, I wanted to do sort of like a Q&A about this. Maybe I will. I just don't want to talk too much about it. But um, I, I received a question about how did, you know, if, if this or, or a comment saying, you know, if this, you know, this happened to you, anything can happen to, to everyone. And I absolutely agree. You know, I've, I've, I've loved Paris since like 2002 or 2003. Um, and I admire her, I admire her work ethic, I admire her heart, I admire the lives that she is changing by speaking up and, and, and doing something about her trauma. I admire, love her products, her music. Um, I, I admire her as a human being, you know. You guys know how I feel about celebrities. I don't swoon over a celebrity. I, I look at the human side of the celebrities. Um, so I definitely do, I believe with my whole heart that anything in life is possible. I think that one of the biggest things that you, you can do is to have faith in whatever you have faith. I have faith in God. Whatever you have faith, have faith, even if it's being just having faith in yourself, but have faith in something bigger than you um, or more spiritual if you can. And if you don't have faith, that's fine too. Uh, the second thing I say is just believe in yourself, okay? That's sort of like a faith too, right? Believing in yourself. Believe in yourself and work in silence. Don't go telling people or informing people of all your upcoming dreams and goals. Because let me tell you something, girl. And this is a, a, a this is going to be a wake-up call to a lot of you. But girl, not everybody wants you to succeed or to win. That's number one, okay? Nobody, not everybody's gonna be your biggest cheerleader. They might cheer you in the face and behind your back are wishing you ill will, all right? So work in silence. Let your work speak for itself, not your words. Um, and just, you know, be grateful for everything. Be grateful for every moment. I would have, you know, I would have never thought, I guess when I was, you know, back then when I was a kid that I was going to be able to meet Paris. Do you know what I mean? So, so I just feel like anything is possible. Have faith. Don't, don't lose sight of your goals and your dreams. Work in silence and be grateful and humble about it. And don't take any opportunity for granted and, and just, you know, slive like Paris would say, just, you know, just, just, you know, be able to understand your, your blessings and appreciate them. And I think you'll you'll all get everything you've ever dreamt about. And I firmly believe that anything in life is possible. And that's what I wanted to say. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.